welcome back to a new vlog. I wasn't actually planning on filming anything today. However, I got a DM asking me to share a review on more Australian based designers. And I'm actually meeting my friend Helen, who's here on YouTube. I'm gonna link her channel below. You probably already follow her because she's awesome. Um, but we're meeting up for lunch and just have a little bit of a nosy through the shops. And I thought, why not actually do another come shopping with me? It's a perfect opportunity. We're going to Paddington and there are tons of amazing Australian brands around there and a few things that I'm actually curious to have a little bit of a look at in person. In particular, a pair of shoes from Basic, which remind me a lot of a Celine pair I had many years ago, which were so incredibly painful to wear, but so beautiful. So I'm hoping that these are a much nicer one and then I might mull it over, maybe splurge on them, we'll see. I definitely don't need any more shoes. You have to mind the state of my voice in this video. I've really had the worst run with bugs. I got tonsillitis and I had it so badly that I needed to have two doses of antibiotics because it just would not go away. And I, at one point I couldn't even speak, like words were not coming out, it was a whisper. And now I've just got a bit of a head cold as well. So I think with moving, I'm just incredibly run down and my body is taking a little bit longer to recover. Anyway, I need to do some work for a client before I do actually leave the house. So I'm gonna get into that now and I'll check in with you a little bit later. Spontaneously going and getting my ears pierced at Sarah and Sebastian, I met up with Helen and the first thing we did was go to Daily Greens to get coffee and a little bite to eat before we went and browsed the shops. I feel like you kind of need a little bit of nourishment in you before you go browsing. Our first stop was Lee Matthews, which is a shop that we both really love. And the first thing that I tried on is this cotton seersucker tank, which is a little bit longer in length. And the key detail for this being that very visible contrasting seam down the center and also the gathered armholes. I think that detail is really pretty and it also has these dipped hems as well. It's ever so slightly sheer. I'm wearing this one in the size two and if I recall, it was on sale. I also tried on the Stella skirt and you know what? I was incredibly underwhelmed. I love the little flounce detail at the hemline, but I'm really happy with my silk skirt from Quince so I don't feel the need to buy this anymore. I think of the three things I tried on at Lee Matthews, this apron style dress was probably my favorite. I really like the detail of how it buckles in the back with the D ring and the squared off neckline. Again, it does also have that same detail right down the center, this lovely pleating on the sides, ever so slightly sheer, um, and it did come in black too. And this one was on sale, really, really lovely. Then we went to basic, cause I wanted to try on some sandals. These I've also had my eye on, but this is the pair I went to try on. And I have to say, I am really, obsessed so the sandals that these are very similar to are the celine bam sandals but i like that they are full leather the tubular strap across the foot is a puffy leather which is really nice and soft and doesn't dig in at all i really like the fact that the hardware is matte black as well they're just incredibly chic and despite having an ankle strap they didn't really feel like they cut me off at the foot at all and i'm wearing my usual size eu40 here after this, we went to Victorian Woods and I tried on a few things, including this little mini skirt, which I thought was cute. I really like the seam detail, but it is a size too large for me. I clearly did not get the memo and I picked out wrong sizing for everything. Both the skirt and the set that I'm wearing here are all in a size one and I think I need a zero as a small size AU8. I really, really like the idea of wearing a suit though with a sleeveless blazer and then a really crisp or slightly slouchy pair of trousers incredibly chic i believe this particular style might actually also be unisex but yeah I, I think if i was in the market for something like this i would definitely run and grab this one i just thought it was simple and the fabric was really nice now i've been wanting to go to the maggie maryland store for forever so had to take the opportunity while in paddington i tried on this bright canary yellow skirt which was really stunning however it was quite thin and sheer you could see my knickers through it and that made it a huge no from me which is a real shame because it is otherwise really lovely 
final shop we popped into was Oriton and I actually haven't been to their Paddington boutique and it was really nice to see a lot of their items in person in particular the bags so that you can really feel them see the shape etc this particular style has been on my wishlist for a while as an alternative to the Bottega mini Jody bag I really like the gold ball detail on the zipper and it can actually be worn cross body too it has little hooks on the back so that you can affix the strap I of course made it into the dressing room with a few items of clothing to try on too and overall every single piece in the shop it feels really well made, exceptional quality and I think they do some really beautiful prints that are a little bit more offbeat. This daisy print is probably one of my favourites that they have in store right now. It is very pretty and could you imagine wearing this to a garden party? I like that you can actually uh, close the neckline shut so it's a little bit more modest if you like, has the fun puff sleeves and this really pretty midi length. This was sadly too big for me and the last one they had. Then I tried on this set, which I think was probably one of my favorite things that I tried on during this little shopping trip with Helen. The shirt in particular, I really like the fit and I'm wearing a size 14 here, so it's quite oversized and relaxed, but I think it really works and it kind of plays into that element of ease that I tend to throw into my outfits. The skirt, I'm wearing the size eight and this was too big for me. It's actually supposed to sit a little bit higher up on the waist, but you could easily wear it low slung like this. But while I love the silk fabric, it was an item that I couldn't really see myself wearing too often. And of course we had to end our catch up with a very quick fit check me in all black and Helen in her fabulous cos denim dress and I think she's wearing Cezanne sandals too if memory serves. So I'm back home now and hopefully what you will have seen there will have been a voiceover attached to it so you can see what I was trying on so it was a proper sort of try on come shop with me. Uh, really great to catch up with Helen and just have a little bit of a wander around and actually try things on in person because that's a much different experience than when you are shopping online and just taking a bit of a gamble with a how things are going to fit, how they're going to look on your body and with the clothing you already own and also how the color is going to look on you. Um, I think probably the standouts for me were those shoes from Basic, those sandals. I am desperate to add those to my wardrobe, but obviously I really want to make sure that I think about it and consider the purchase before I go through with it. So I put them on reserve, so I've got 72 hours to think about it. Um, they were gorgeous and seriously, what an incredible alternative to those Celine shoes that I had, which were dreadfully uncomfortable, but beautiful. And I think these are a bit more modern too, being all black, including the black hardware. I also really like the dress that I tried on in Lee Matthews, which didn't probably look like much from the clips, but I thought it was really beautiful, a really easy option as a mum. It also had pockets, which wasn't really clear from that video either, and I didn't really discover that until after I finished filming the clip. The other thing I really liked was the colour of the green set that I tried on at Oriton. And I really am quite into green right now. It's probably very obvious just based on all the little green splashes, not only in our home, but also that I've been adding into my wardrobe. And I thought that this particular green really complemented my skin tone and my features nicely. And that is sort of a bit of a gem when you come across that perfect color. So. While I think the skirt's probably not quite right, I tried on the eight and it was too big, the shirt I might end up buying. I also really like the little bag in Oriton as well. That's been on my wish list for the last month, but again, I'm just really mulling it over before I decide to make a purchase. So yeah. Oh, and my piercings. Yeah, so I didn't even talk about this, but I went and got a second piercing in both ears. I've been wanting to do this since 2019, but then I got pregnant with my son. Then I was breastfeeding and then the pandemic happened and then I got pregnant again and was breastfeeding. And so now finally, <laughs> all these years later, I'm able to actually get that, that next piercing. So I'm gonna bring you in and show you. Hopefully you'll get a better peek at it. So I did a little bit of an asymmetrical earring moment. So the thing with Sarah and Sebastian earrings is they are very, very dainty, all their jewelry is. So I got a little love heart on my right ear and then on my left ear, I got this little bar. So I will link the actual earrings that I purchased to 
uh, be pierced with down in the description box below. I'll link everything that I tried on down there as well. I would love to know if you had a favorite thing that I tried on and yeah, thanks so much for joining me on this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it, that it was really nice and peaceful, relaxing, and that you were just having the most beautiful week. I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.